Hello, Piro. Um, I think you've actually commented on a couple of my videos before. Your name rings a bell. Anyway, um, if you have, uh, great. If not, well, I probably saw one of your other videos somewhere else. Not to worry. Uh, anyway, this is the practitioner here. Um, skeptic, um, agnostic, uh, well, I'm just going to call myself agnostic because I still really don't know where I stand on that whole issue. Uh, anywho, um, uh, I, ta I watched your video on uh, the ideas of what is rationality, and um, I thought that was actually a really good um, uh, point of what you had about uh, about how reason and rationality work in the real world. Uh, one of the things in particular, though, which I... Um, uh, the particular uh, thing you mentioned in the beginning about uh, about seatbelts might be uh, immoral from a libertarian standpoint or moral from a community standpoint. Um, I've expressed this point in quite a few of my videos a little while back, um, and if you want, you can, I think they're on the Hitchhiker's blog or something like that. Uh, that was probably where it was. Anyway, um, if you want to go back, you can probably find it in my other videos. But um, I basically stated about how it seems to me that the uh, bulk of so-called morality, uh, both, well, sexual and otherwise that our society has taken up is um, is not just uh, is um, well partly based on that uh, on those arguments like you mentioned of you know well God told me to or that's the way it is or that's the way it's all or everybody know believes that everybody knows that's the way it is well the thing is that I think that's part of it but I think that part of it as well is that we've also started to try to rationalize yeah uh, no but I've said that we started to try to rationalize like ie backtrack and try to find any sort of uh, any sort of numbers no matter how hasty generalized they are to um, to start making our older viewpoints uh, fit the modern day uh, world which in a large chunk of cases I don't think works so anyway um, I guess my overall viewpoint is that the concept of rationality um, how to best phrase this without uh, coming across as being immoral uh, I figuring that morality should be based on a purely logical and rational standpoint or or uh, you know, you take you take a you take a rational measurement first. You see the problem. You take a look at okay, what uh, okay, what do we have here? How many other problems are connected to this? And how can we make a moral system or a um, a system that will uh, that will help as many of these areas as possible without infringing too far on any of the other systems? And once you've got that, uh, once you've then you can create a moral system. <coughs> excuse me, which will work. Um, within your own world sphere, it would be logical, and as long as it's still, you know, it would be logical, it would be rational, and that would probably be the best way to define, you know, what's good or bad, uh, agreeing with what you said. And of course, if new data ever came in at any other point, uh, i.e., a variable changed and uh, the entire system had to go or something, then you'd either amend, uh, then you'd either amend uh, the uh, the moral system, or if after a couple hundred years of, of this moral system being in place, and uh, you know, family or society or whatever using it, and if society's changed too much by then for that moral system to no longer work, you scrap the moral system, uh, except for that which um, uh, you scrap the moral system. You run through the fresh stuff again, and um, if there was anything from the older stuff that actually does work for the current system, i.e., I think the rules of "Thou shalt not kill," uh, I think the rules of "Thou shalt not kill" and "Thou shalt not steal" um, have done very well in transferring over. So I think those two. Uh, oh, and of course, lying, uh, lying considered immoral. Um, and that's actually one of the more complicated ones, because the thing is that we consider lying to be immoral, but you know, in, in depending on the case by case basis, it's actually very rational in some cases, or very uh, or very effective to use it in some cases. Well, again, for self interest, um, you know. I mean, there's the whole thing about the white lie, the so-called white lie, and then the so-called black lie, and you know, dark lie or what have you. I mean, th and there's all these shades of lying and what you know, what's considered lying by omission and half truths. Strawberries. Yeah. You know, or, or lying by omission or, or half truths or all that sort of thing. And the thing, of course, what bugs the crap, or or even you know, or even just somebody saying you know, like one word out of place and you know, in, in paraphrasing someone else and forgets to mention that it was a paraphrase as opposed to a direct quote. I mean. Uh, you know, I mean, there's there's a lot of misconstrual that can happen around issues like this, and uh, you know, again, probably the one on in relation to lying. I think in general we could probably say that it's problematic, but I think that in I think that uh, the the criteria for what counts as lying or or what can sit what is considered good lying versus bad lying needs to be heavily reviewed. You know, again, remeasured, review, you know, re-rationalized, re um, uh, re-reasoned, and then anyway. I digress. Like I said, uh, you can watch my other videos on morality. 
Um, I'm just simply asking for people to uh, having I have Asperger's, and I literally have little to no concept of social more uh, of social norms and stuff like that. So, you know, I probably would even say stuff that to me would just seem perfectly logical, uh, but would probably even uh, cause uh, you a, a a skeptic to have a knee jerk reaction. I mean, that's how uh, I'll admit I'm a little bit farther off the system because I'm still because I still question everything about morale. Well, actually, no. Beyond the murder and steal, I question 98% of everything else in relation to morality. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not saying I directly oppose it yet. I'm just simply saying I still need to review and I need more evidence uh, one way or the other before I can make up my own mind in terms of that. So I try to avoid harming other people when possible. But um, actually, that would probably be the best rule. And you harm them, do what you will. Okay, that works. I'll work with that one uh, for now. And, of course, harm none means including myself. I'll work with that for now. And um, and in terms of morality, uh, I'm still going to be trying to work on uh, logic uh, and uh, logic, rationality, and reason. And uh, if you can find any uh, relevant points for, you know, prominent, uh, prominent uh, moralistic views held by society or uh, ones that you still hold as well, that, um, that you view have logical basis, please do by all means uh, draw, uh, post a video or post to this. Because I would very, very much appreciate, um, you know, I would very much appreciate any explanation that I could get. You know what I mean? Just, um, hey, any, every little bit helps. So anyway, um, keep up the good work. Uh, and from an agnostic to an atheist, uh, what I already just said, keep up the good work. You get the idea. Toodles.